Hello, good morning. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Breaking News TV. Mohima Gaji serious Ghana said government over his suspension. If this happens to be the first time you come across our channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the ringing bell icon for instant news notification. The suspended Kano Chairman State Public Complaint and Anti-Corruption Commission, Mohima Gadi Rimangadu, has filed an application before the Judicial Division of National Industrial Courts, Abuja. In a court document cited by Nigerian Traga newspaper, Muhima Gaji Rimunkadu filed an application challenging his suspension by Kanduji administration in Kano State. In the suit filed by Muhima Gaji, Kano said government is the first defendant while the Attorney General of Kano State, Kano State House of Assembly, Accountant General, Kano State, Barista Mahmoud Balarabi, Kano State Commissioner of Police, as taken third, fourth, fifth, and the sixth defendants, respectively. The suspended chairman of the State Public Complaint and Anti-Corruption Commission also prayed the court to determine whether having regards to the circumstances of this case, sections 8, 15, subsection I, G, and H, Public Complaints and Anti-Corruption Commission Law 2008, as amended. Subsection 36 of Subsection 1 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999 Constitution, as amended. The first defendant can cause the third defendant to determine the petition of the fourth defendant by suspending the claimant from his statutory position of the executive chairman can also public complaints and anti-corruption commission without having recourse to the claimant's right to fair hearing. Barrister Muhi Magaji through his counsels laid by Muhammad Ibrahim Tola also asked the National Industrial Court to determine whether by virtue of sections 4 subsection A, 5 and 6 of Public Complaints and Anti-Corruption Commission Law 2008 as amended. The fifth defendant has a legal restitute and right to continue parading himself as the acting chairman of Canada State Public Complaints and Anti-Corruption Commission after the expression of one month suspension of claimants by the first defendant. Whether the first defendant can suspend the claimant indefinitely and without the payment of his entitlement at the chairman of Canada State Public Complaints and Anti-Corruption Commission. Whether the involvement of six defendants into the purely administrative issue through targeted investigations does not amount to the abuse of office and the enforcing double jeopardy on the claimant, whereof the claimant will seek for the following reliefs against the defendants jointly and severally. Thus, the councils also sought the Honorable Court to determine a declaration that the third defendant has no right to determine the fourth defendant petition by causing the suspension of the claimant without first having heard from the claimant by according, by according him the opportunity of defending himself. A declaration that the purported suspension of the claimant as a result of third and fourth defendant's actions is malicious ultra virus null and void thereby infringing on the claimant's fundamental rights of fair hearing a declaration that the fifth defendant paraded himself as an acting chairman of the canal state public complaints and anti-corruption commission is illegal ultra virus and unlawful a declaration that the claimant is a substantive chairman of the Canon State Public Complaints and Anti-Corruption Commission and therefore entitled to all the benefits of his office. A declaration that the sixth defendant has no business in this matter which is within the exclusive competence of this court to decide. An order of his Honorable Court declaring the purported suspension of the claimant as a chairman of Kano State Public State Complaints and Anti-Corruption Commission is unconstitutional, illegal, null and void. The counsel to Mr. Rimingadu also prayed the court for an order of his Honorable Court restraining the 6M defendant perpetually from meddling in the affairs of the claimant on any matter affecting his workplace. And they search for the others as the court may deem fit and appropriate to make in the circumstances. 
It can be recalled that the Kano State House of Assembly suspended Barista Muhi Magaji as a substantive chairman of the State Public Complaint and the Anti Corruption Commission on 5th July over refusal to accept a level 4 offer sent to his office while on 26 recommended for his dismissal and immediate arrest as prosecution over an alleged forgery. However, for almost several months, the matter seemed to be swept under the carpet, as nothing is heard either from the government or the National Assembly. And this marks the end of our story at the moment. Stay tuned. Don't forget to click the subscribe button for more news updates coming ahead. Have a nice time and goodbye.